always a warm welcome at Worcestershire. Perhaps not with the weather this year, a rather cold day once again for day two of the action. The early spectators settling in and of course the traditional game of football at the start. Now down to the serious stuff in the nets. Pajara warming up for his opening innings for Yorkshire. Andrew Gale not playing in this one but helping out with the pre-match practice. There's the score, 264 for 8. That was the overnight situation. And Yorkshire take into the field, led by Alex Lees. In the fourth over of the day from Jack Brooks, the first four was hit through the covers by Gareth Andrew. His next boundary, a streaky shot through the slip area, brought up his half century. Sonny Eicher finally got off the mark with a four off side bottom, but it had taken some time. For a time, runs came freely for the Worcestershire pair, but then Andrew fell, caught by Lees, off Brooks for 59, with a score 298 for nine. Excellent bowl in this by Brooks. He's now got four wickets. The final pair, though, were at the wicket to see Worcestershire to another bonus point. Number 11, Morris, produced a superb cut off side bottom to find the boundary. But there was no stopping Jack Brooks for Yorkshire. He grabbed his fifth wicket as Sonny Eicher was caught by Rhodes at mid-wicket. So, 311 all out and Brooks 5 for 56. A fine start for Jack. Yorkshire opened up with acting captain Alex Lees and youngster Will Rhodes. And Lees got off the mark with a single off Gareth Andrew. Rhodes, though, was soon out. And the second over... Caught in the slips by Mitchell of the bowling of Morris for naught, Yorkshire 2 for 1. And worse was to follow, as new man Pajara was also caught in the slips of Andrew. This a fine delivery, and Yorkshire in trouble. 3 for 2, Pajara and up for naught. Rich Power arrived at the wicket to get off the mark with a 4 off Morris, and soon afterwards, Power was put down the slips by Gidman off Andrew. Lees pushed a four through the covers off Morris to show his class and runs started to come but still some anxious moments for Yorkshire in a tough session. Powder flicked Morris away for two runs for the leg side and followed that up with a four off the same bowler. And just before lunch runs were coming quickly as both batsmen really started to play well. At lunch then things looking a little better for Yorkshire. Lees 37, Powder 22. 60 for 2 from 16 others. Both Lees and Pat opened up in attacking style after the lunch interval. Lees survived a caught behind appeal off Morris and Pat Jeff Evans turning down loud appeals from the Worcestershire fielders. And the acting Yorkshire captain provided the perfect repost with a four through the covers. Pyra twice edged Andrew through the slips for lucky boundaries. A classy drive through the covers took Lees to his 50 with Six fours. Powers not to be outdone, crashing Andrews through the covers for four. Power then brought up the hundred with a straight drive, and the hundred partnership came up thanks to a Lees square cut. Lees was timing the ball impressively, and the love fall off Morris through mid off. But Power eventually departed. He went after a ball on the off stump and got a thick edge to be caught in the slips off Chantry for 43 runs. A partnership of 108 came to an end. Jack Leaning joined Lees and played some decent shots before falling LBW to Shantry for 10. Yorkshire then 127 for 4. Andrew Hodd survived a confident peel for court behind but responded well to go for the mark with a 4. And Lees went to 78 with a lofted boundary off Shantry. Lees then produced a slog sweep to the boundary. All sorts of shots from the skipper. While Hogg produced a nice back foot boundary off Seniati. This was the start of a series of boundaries for Hod, who has been in very, very impressive form. And just before tea, Lees though out. LBW to Andrew for 87 with a score on 172. Tim Bresnam came to the crease and opened up with a four off Andrew. At tea, this match is intriguingly poised. 179 for five, Yorkshire of 50 overs. Hod 26, Bresnan 6. The final session began with Andrew Hod edging Gareth Andrew over the top of the slips for a boundary down to third man. 
but soon afterwards another thick edge went to hand at slip and Daryl Mitchell took the catch to get rid of Hard for 30 to give Gareth Andrew another wicket. Yorkshire at this stage won 86 for 6. Further problems materialised as Patterson was out for naught, one that kept low from Chantry and the Tykes won 93 for 7. Tim Bresnan took advantage of the lack of a third man cutting Andrew to the ropes. The 200 came up and a batting bonus point for the visitors. Ryan Sidebottom produced his first boundary through the slips off Chantry and his second one a short while later was a well executed drive through the onside. But a few minutes later Ryan Sidebottom was leaving the field after picking up an injury to his calf. Some attention from the physio and he retired hurt, bringing Jack Brooks to the wicket. Brooks began with two steering it down to third man, and he and Bresden began to compile some useful runs for the right rows. Bresden went to a fine 50 with a four driven through the offside. The two dominated for a time until Andrew had Brooks caught behind by Cox for a good 26. Bresden continued to plunder the Worcestershire attack, and it's a close run thing for the first innings lead. Carver fell to Chantry towards the close and out comes Ryan Sidebottom coming to the wicket with Will Rhodes as his runner. At the close it's a very tight battle. Beautiful innings from Bresden by the way. Worcestershire 311, Yorkshire 298 for 9. The battle on trying to get that extra bonus point.